let's go down a few line and let's do public and i need another method so that i can return a list of all of the employees so this is going to return a list of employee and i'm going to call this um find all employees and it's not going to take any parameters because it's just returning the list or all the users that we have in the database and then here i can just return the repository and i call find all on that repository and let's scroll down a little bit more and here let's say i need another one to update the employee so i'm going to do public employee and update employee and this is going to take the employee and what i want to do is to just save that employee that's save and i can just pass in that employee now i need another function i need two other functions there's one to delete an employee so let's do this one real quick so public delete employee and this is going to return void so void and what i want to pass into this is to pass in the actual id of the employee so we're going to do long id and then in here we can just call the delete so i'm just going to do employee delete and i pass in the id in here so you can see I'm getting an error because the employee repo doesn't have a delete by default. So I'm going to create a new method. So I'm going to call it delete uh, employee by ID. And I'm going to go ahead and create this method. So create method. And as you can see, here's this method. And because we named this delete employee by ID, when then we pass in the actual ID, Spring is able to understand this language and then create the query for us to delete an employee by ID. And this is what you would call a query method um, because of the naming convention. So as you can see, there is delete employee, which is the class name by ID which is a field. And what Spring is gonna do is to create a query to delete employee where ID equals this ID we're passing in here. So this is a whole different discussion and I don't wanna get into it right now, but that's exactly what this is doing. So now we shouldn't have any problem if we go back to our service. Spring understands that what we're trying to do here is to delete this employee by passing in this ID here. And I'm gonna do another example just so you guys can understand. So let's do an example where I wanna find an employee by the ID. ID. So I'm going to do public and let's make sure this returns an employee and let's call it find employee uh, by ID. And here we can pass in the actual ID just like that. And then what I want to do is call the employee repository. So this is going to return the employee that they find. So I'm going to do return employee repo and then I do find employee by ID. Okay, and then I pass in the actual ID in here. As you can see, this method doesn't exist, uh, but Spring is able to understand it. So now I'm gonna create it in here, and because we have find, it's gonna do a select employee. So it's gonna say, okay, so an employee from that table by ID, where ID equals this ID we're passing in here. So uh, this is called query method in uh, Spring. So now if we go back, you can see that we don't have this error anymore. But now there's another thing I wanna do. Instead of having this return an employee, I'm going to make it return an optional because there is a situation where I might not have that employee. So they let's say they pass in some random ID and there's not an employee by that ID. So let's make sure this return an optional and let's go back to the actual service. And now you can see we have an error because this is returning an optional. So what we can do to fix this problem is uh, we can make use of Java 8 and then do something else in case we can't find an actual employee. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that or else throw. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to pass in an exception supply. So I'm saying, hey, try to find an employee. So all of this. So if we find an employee by this ID, this is going to return the code will not execute whatever comes after this. However, if we don't find an employee by that ID, then we can throw whatever exception here. So what I'm gonna do here is to pass in the actual exception. So I'm gonna do equal, and in here I can pass in some new exception. So let's say new user not found exception, and then we can pass in some random message in here. So we can say something like uh, user uh, by ID, and then we pass in the ID, and we can say uh, was not found. Okay, I'm gonna put all of this on a new line just so you can see it. And of course, we don't have this exception yet, and I'm gonna show you how we can create this exception so that we can throw it every time we try to find an employee, and we don't have an employee by that ID in our database.